Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be talking about all of the Phase 5 changes that are live right now. The server came up pretty early, and it is here Tuesday, September 24th. So we have two days until the raid, but there are a plethora of things that you can do right now to get everything that you need. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the number one thing that they have done is they have updated the Undermine Real Vendor. We are here at Booty Bay. As you can see, it is a very popular location. Um, my map add-on is broken, but you probably know where Pixasix is by now. As you can see, Tarnished Undermine Reels now stack to 150 because Tier 2 Bracers are selling for 125. Yeah. However, Tier 2 Bracers are not on this vendor just quite yet. You still have to wait probably until Thursday to get your Tier 2 Bracers. That makes the most sense in my opinion. Um, that way you can't get Tier 2 before the raids actually come out. That's fair. Next is that the B Buy Non Equip... Uh, buy Sorry, by non account runes are available. So if you have the World Core Dishonor Emblem of Violet Eye and Emblem of Wild Gods for five reels, you can get your by non account rune and send it to another character, which you then have to go to the Shadow Brokers, which are in the cities, which I covered on the PTR, in order to figure out that fun stuff. So tier two bracers are not here. However, those wonderful things are, and I'm not sure if the idols are. Yeah, so the idols are here, I believe. These are new idols. As you can see, there is a lot of PvP shenanigans happening as well. But I believe the new Librams are here. It looks like a lot of those are available. But these could be the old ones that were already there. Uh, yeah, I actually think these are the old ones. So the new idols are not here yet either. Once again, this will probably be Thursday. Sorry, there's a little PvP distracting me there. But the next thing is that the world bosses are actually dropping meals. Someone, I DM someone doing a group for that, and they have already gotten the kill, and they said it drops from meals. I'm not sure how many I've gotten conflicting reports, but it's somewhere between one to five. I can tell you that much. Um, I look forward, you know, if someone that does it right now and gets that actual answer, please drop it down below in the comments. I can't do everything this fast after the server dropped. PvP has been increased, and you can do PvP. As you saw, people were murdering each other at the reel. No shocker there. Um, as it, it's as you can see, it has reset. I'm a pleb, and I'm only rank 7, so if I'm going for 13, I got a long way to go. However, you know, it is doable. Um, but just wanted to get, show you guys that, let you know. I'm going to go to the PvP Officers Hall and show you the new gear, so I'll see you when we get there. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are here in the PvP Hall, and as you can see, the rank 13 General and Warlord and High Warlord gear is available right here, so you can get all of this starting, I think, at rank 12. I'm not entirely sure with all the PvP stuff. As you can tell, I don't do too much of it, but the gear is here. So we have the General's gloves. There are two gloves for uh, people as a mage, I guess. There is a sort of arcane mage set for these gloves that sort of gives you some unique stats as well but here is the pvp gear i believe this is toned down a little bit from what it usually is because i thought it was used to be on the tier of aq gear however once again i don't really pvp so i don't know for certain um we can take a look here if atlas loot is feeling like working so it is we can go to pvp gear and we can go with uh the class sets warlords regalia so as you can see this is what it's looking like um and yeah that actually looks like it is on par with what is here so it really wasn't changed too much at all so it's exactly the stuff but just a ton of stam and so on for you guys so atlas suit is showing that it is the same but anyway that is that showing you that the rank 13 pvp stuff is in the game and you can go and get that at your own heart's desire. So enjoy that farm. But anyway, I'm now going to go show you the BRD vendor. And show you guys all that new fun stuff there. So I'll see you when we get there. Voop. 
Alrighty guys, so I have made it all the way to the Grim Guzzler and we are at the vendor here. So uh, he hasn't, he's not selling anything new that I can tell gear wise or any of that. However, we do have the new essences and things to spend with your Fireland Embers. Now two really weird and unique things here is I was actually able to buy one and I did not have my Embers on me. I left them in the bank because I was like, oh dang, if I'm coming here with video, I might as well show you guys buying stuff. However, it just simply let me buy one with the uh, Embers I had in my bank. And I was able to get an essence of air. Now what's really weird is I do not have the two hour return on this either. So if I go to sell it, it will just sell for four silver. I don't know if that is intended, if that is how it's supposed to be functioning. I don't really know. But what I can tell you is uh, I was able to buy this with them inside of my bank, which is really weird. Because um, normally classic is not like that at all. But I did not have any on my bags, that's for sure. And so I was able to buy an Essence of Air. Essence of Air and Blood of the Mountain are probably the two most valuable. Fire and Earth aren't really worth too much. Water varies as well. But water is way easier to get it instead of Earth. So if you're going to be trying to get them, I would highly recommend that you buy Air or Bloods of the Mountain. Then as you can see, nothing else is really new here to go after. But... Anyway, guys, that is it for the uh, new Fireland chip stuff. There's definitely probably going to be those bags and stuff at incursions as well. I'm not going to go there because it just makes me sad because I deleted all my emerald chips. So I just wanted to sort of tell you guys that. And anyway, I will be back for the final part. So I'll see when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So for the final part here, I just wanted to show you where the rune broker is here for the horde. It's in the middle of Cleft of Shadow. I would show you my map, but I have an add-on that's broken right now. Here's RFC. Here is the rune broker. So I just wanted to show you exactly where he was so you guys could uh, be aware of that. And that's how you trade in your bind on equipped runes. So if you bought these with reels, you then turn them in for these notes. I have no idea why Brain Freeze has five gold added to it as well. But you know, very classic of Blizzard to have weird things like that that are funny. Then another thing that I want to show you guys is the uh, class changes and enchantment changes are in so like one of the biggest ones here for a mage is if i conjure a mana ruby as you are going to see right here bam i do not lose mana this is a huge quality of life change for mages um i do not know if i can get rank 13 water i'm going to go see if we can do that now but enchants and runes are changed and put on the slot so if your class had one of those changed it is on the new stuff and then in order to get uh your cloak enchant here for fr that is at 30 fr right there so as you can see it went up from 20 to 30 that is a hydraxian water lord cloak enchant so you're able to do that then i'm going to see if we can just simply learn water we cannot so it's going to be dropped somewhere in the new content and whatnot because i cannot see it here to train it to get our brand new water and i do not just simply have it so that is something i'm going to have to earn and figure out how to get because right now we still just have rank 7 water but it'll be pretty cool to be able to get rank 8 water however the heck we do that but anyway guys those are all the changes that have come to the top of my head that i've gone out gone and tested for you guys if there's anything you think i miss anything that you can add definitely drop it down below everything helps a ton i'm just doing my best out here trying to grind i'm getting rumors and reports that last bosses of like lower black rock spire that dropped three reels for someone as well so there are a lot of small things that they might not have told us about i have no idea about the epic weapons i haven't seen any quests anything like that i'd imagine we'll figure out more about that on thursday i've gone to a few trainers locations stuff like that to see if there's new quests and there hasn't been any yet so anyway guys if there's anything you want to add please drop it down below and those are all the changes i have for you thus far so until next time i'll see you later have a great day Bye bye hey you yes you are you still there well I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.